That's the first time you're working now. Is it recording? Yeah. <laughs> Because I pressed it, doesn't mean it is the little red dots there. Oh, yeah. Fine, yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our beautiful Salons YouTube channel. Roberta and Melissa back again with some more insightful information. Today we wanted to talk to you about body hang-ups, specifically in relation to waxing, didn't we? Yeah, intimate waxing. Well, actually, any waxing? But more, I yeah, guess, yeah, yeah. I guess any waxing. Lip waxing, I guess, is a little bit. Which lip? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Well, today we're talking about our lower lips. <laughs> okay, so I th what we thought we would basically chat to you about is our first intimate waxing experiences and... Um, the whole process, like, what happens, I guess, to a certain extent, like what happens, the, the, the difference between the waxes mm -hmm. and... Um, and how we wax here in the salon as well. Yeah. So, first of all, we trained together for our waxing, didn't yeah. we? Um, Roberta, pulled, I pulled the short straw when we did our <laughs> training course. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, there was three of us that went from the same workplace and Roberta paired up with the other girl that we went with and I had a stranger. <laughs> I don't know actually which one is like, it could like, but work both ways, I guess, because the, then like when you have somebody that you work with, you go back the next day, they're like, oh, see you. Because, to be fair, at that, that's actually a really good point, because at that time, I offered to go with the other person, do you remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. For that exact reason. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, I don't know how comfortable I feel with. Act yeah, I actually do remember. And I wasn't comfortable enough to go with this. Yeah, so it worked out fine, yeah, actually, but, yeah, but, well, it worked out fine, except. It was just, it was just, it, yeah. It was just a bit horrific, it? it? was horrific, it was really painful. And like we were training, so, you But know. it's not like, you know, when you go sometimes training, it's like, well, I've never been to like, well, I've been to other trainings, but it's fine. It's not so intimate, not so close contact, but mm -hmm. this is actually still like the same concept, I suppose. It's like eight girls. And the only thing that separates you from like these strangers is the curtain between the couches, like um, treatment couches. Yeah. So like it's two here, the curtain, and then two, and then two, and, and then also two. the curtain doesn't even go like all the way like, down the couch. Yeah. It stops by like your knees. Yeah. So you know if someone needs to I think go I, and have a sip of water. If I remember rightly, like. In the end, everybody just had their curtains open. Yeah, we were like <coughs> displaying our ninjas to the world. Yeah. So, aside from our traumatic uh, training experiences, yeah. talk us through um, your first waxing experience. How did you decide that you wanted to start getting waxed? Okay. So, um, I decided when I spoke to this lady who... Um, I suppose she had it done and um, but this lady who does who I used to go and have it done with she doesn't she, she's literally like she, that's what she specializes in like mm -hmm. intimate waxing but she also does the um, microblading so like semi-permanent makeup so this this uh, friend who uh, went to have her treatments to this lady she talked about it with me and I was like oh you know I was more interested in like in a microblading the semi-permanent makeup and whatever because I wanted my eyebrows done and then I thought oh okay maybe I should just try the waxing so I also asked I said uh, you know how does the whole process work and does it hurt and whatever and um, she kind of said it's okay you know it does hurt and stuff but I just thought you know what I'm just I'm just gonna go so I just booked, but it was a bit like, because I think it was a year after I had my daughter and whatever, so all the bits, like, even though I didn't give back natural birth, but it's still, like, I, I have two children, so it's never the same. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I think it's a, 
as we women we just feel conscious after especially after having children you know not necessarily having children you always feel a bit conscious about that area but especially after having children and going to have something like that then you kind of like oh gosh is she gonna think that mm. is she gonna judge me basically? is she gonna judge me so anyway um my um appointment day arrived uh, i get to this lady's house and she's like uh um right so but she was so friendly and warm and welcoming and and very knowledgeable and talk me through the whole process how it's gonna go and stuff like that and then she's like right so when you're ready she goes so at first sorry i forgot to say it, like at first i thought you, you're gonna get like disposable pants and crap like that mm. she's like nah just take it all off like jesus no way and then she says, get on all fours. How <laughs> thanks to you. Are you going to give me disposable pants? But you want me to get on this couch on all fours? <laughs> Hell no. I was like, maybe I misheard her. I said, what? She goes, I'll oh, get on all fours. I was like, shit. Well, I can't, I can't like say, nah, I'm going. <laughs> forget, forget it. Forget it. I go back to shaving. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm going to do it. But it's only because she was so, well, she still is. She's so nice. <laughs> she's she's just really that people's person, you know. She made you feel I, I comfortable. I felt comfortable. That's it. And before I knew it was over, mm -hmm. literally, bush bash bash done. Job done. Job done. I mean, I had to. I asked for permission to swear a couple of times, but it was fine. <laughs> It was fine. And did you swear? I did swear. Okay. There were a few apps. But it was over before I knew it. And yeah, I did feel a little bit uncomfortable after. But a couple of days later, it was fine. And Good. What about you? <laughs> My first intimate wax experience was with, was with a girl that I used to work with. Um, and she used, she used to use wax with warm wax. So, um, so that was great. <laughs> yeah, so now knowing how we wax, I wouldn't um, mm. recommend going somewhere that uses warm wax. But my kind of hang up for booking the appointment was that I am quite hairy. Um, I was always very co self conscious of it, and I never really wanted I always kind of wanted it waxed, but I never had the incentive to actually book it because I felt like I was the only person that had like quite thick coarse hair both on the front and behind so yeah. I was always just really like self-conscious of it and like I said thought that I was the only person in the world that had hair on their butt but it turns out that everybody does pretty mm -hmm. much also like conscious about things and stuff like that the I'm just gonna mention it so when you like have children sometimes when you get bad da, 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 things move so i'm talking like hemorrhoids and stuff like that <clears throat> <laughs> well it is a little bit like you know comfortable talking but it's like so that's why i was really really conscious like going and for a stranger seeing something like that i mean mine not ex wasn't a like extreme scenario it's all gone back inside and back to normal but then like when you stressed or or when you sit down for a long period of times and whatever it can flare up mm -hmm. um but and i thought you know what I'm, I'm gonna mention it and like we're talking about it now and i thought i'm just gonna mention that um because um you know i've seen everything when you wax somebody you see everything and there is i had one client in particular that actually um she felt exactly the same how i felt and she said that i wish somebody would talk about it so i think i'm just doing that for me and her I'm doing it for the women <laughs> for, for everybody actually but it kind of encouraged me to talk about it because i've realized i wasn't like you said you know we're not the only ones that like these they're not problems insecurities, insecurities. everybody has them 
different or the same. Yeah, like everybody, everybody's vagina is completely different. They all look different. Um, no vagina is the same. Yeah, no, like none of them are the same. And <laughs> yeah, we have seen all variations. Yeah. And there is absolutely zero judgment, basically. Yeah. And you shouldn't ever feel like you can't get a treatment, waxing in particular, if you're insecure about something like that because chances are you aren't the only person who feels that way about that particular thing yeah um so yeah we'll talk through our kind of waxing process to yeah. hopefully put you a little bit at ease if you are thinking of coming for a wax and you haven't had one before or if you've been elsewhere and you're not sure about trying a new place so um maybe double pause <laughs> Yeah, so first of all, obviously, booking the appointment. You can book online. You don't have to tell anyone over the phone what you want to actually book in for if you don't want to. Yeah. However, that being said, if you're not sure about anything and you want to discuss something with us, then please just send us an email or give us a call if you'd rather not talk about it, you know, actually physically Or the there phone. is actually an option when you go to book your appointment, there is like a little box or something, comments, yeah. that we we only see it so if you put a question and whatever and if you like put in a comment uh, can somebody give me a call about that there is nobody else that sees those emails or message just me and melissa and we can give you a call back if it's something you are unsure about so there are other ways of communicating mm -hmm. with us or email sometimes I feel like to email it's easier so you don't have to like say the actual words out loud. yeah I was I was talking about this in a different context with someone the other day actually about if if I'm ordering a takeaway I absolutely can't bear to phone up I, if can it you imagine have me trying to phone up an order my fear is that no one's gonna fucking understand what I want <laughs> So yeah, but like doesn't have online option, you're not getting my order unfortunately. So yeah. we do have online booking, you don't have to talk to us over the phone if you don't want to, but we are very happy to do that if you want to. Yeah. So first of all you need to book, um, and then when you arrive, we will invite you into the treatment room, which is actually this room here. Yeah, it's quite a relaxing room. Yeah, it's quite relaxing, we've got music playing. Um, you're completely separate so you know no one's gonna yeah. see you through the window or anything weird like that and we're not separated by curtains there is a door that locks so <laughs> and we're never, definitely not gonna let you no, well we're not gonna ask you to get on all fours that's for sure <laughs> absolutely not we have a slightly different technique when we do our intimate waxing where you lift your knees up to your chest like this um and then we just talk you through basically through the whole process mm -hmm. we're not gonna just like ah oh, lay down yeah bash bash no we we, we, we talk you through it's so we, we always like ask what the client's definition of the uh brazilian, particular for example yeah wax that they requested from hollywood or brazilian whatever because everybody's ideas like uh, not ideas but like what the word I'm looking everybody's at. interpretation of the different styles of waxing can sometimes vary yeah so um we always you know double check that you're definitely going to get what you've booked in for and what you expect yeah and yeah so um and then we kind of just do our thing but it's it's it, yeah it's quite I, I think it's quite comfortable yeah i mean we do each other's waxing so we 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 know that the other person does a very good job and yeah. we both wax in exactly the same style as well so we yeah. do that to allow for you to be able to book in with either of us yeah. if um you know one of us is on holiday or off or whatever yeah. we wax both of us in exactly the same way you won't get a different treatment no. so as i mentioned earlier i my first waxing experiences for a while actually for quite a few well, probably like a year or so were with warm wax so warm wax is the one where you apply to the skin and then they put a strip on and then pull the strip off. We don't wax with warm wax. We wax with hot, hard wax. Mm. And the reasons for that, Roberta will share. <laughs> <laughs> but so, um, what well, we call it hot wax, hard wax, 
we use that for intimate waxing for eyebrows and stuff like that because it's more gentler to the skin when I say gentler because like for, for example intimate waxing because the skin um, is much thinner more sensitive and with hot wax you are you're not going to get bruised if you know what I mean because this wax when it goes when it cools down and goes hard it, it hot wax like encapsulates this, the hairs yeah so it doesn't stick to the skin as much as the warm wax whereas the warm wax when you apply it on its um sticks to the skin so when you put the um paper strip down and you pull it you are very you sometimes are likely to bruise yeah. somebody by bruising i mean like removing the top layer of the skin and yeah. you can end up with scab yeah like you'll get an actual bruise which can sometimes almost blister yeah yeah, yeah. um so that's basically why we don't use warm wax so a lot of people say it hurts less as well yeah so i mean that's a pro for me definitely don't you no Definitely. And if you have, if you haven't tried it, you you must must try it. And I I can assure you, you won't be won't be disappointed. And you mm -hmm. would never go back or let anyone go near your vagina <laughs> with strip wax. Mm. Sometimes people say, oh, it takes longer with uh, hot wax. N no, it doesn't. I think it's quicker. It it obviously obviously um takes longer to dry. That's probably what. But listen, you, uh, I'd rather have my vagina intact <laughs> <laughs> after yeah, fair, fair waxing, do you know what I mean? I can't even sense the shivers down my spine yeah. thinking about it. No way I would let No way, Jose. Jose. I would let anyone come anywhere near me with the strip wax. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you to realise that Everybody has body hang-ups, everybody has insecurities, but this really is a judgment-free zone. Yeah. I can guarantee you that we will do our absolute best to make you feel comfortable, to make you feel confident in yourself as well, to be able to book in a comfy waxing if that's what you want to do. If you are thinking or about something that you're insecure about or anything like that, please, please don't hesitate. If you want the streaming, just, just book it, come in and... I promise you, you won't regret it. So hopefully that's been helpful for you. Please let us know if you have any questions at all. None of them are stupid. Mm -hmm. Comment down below with um, suggestions for any more videos that you'd like us to do. Yeah. If you want to know anything about anything else. This is going to be a regular thing, so you're going to see mo much more from us. Also, let us know if this was helpful and whether you actually liked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whether it was enjoyable and entertaining. Yeah. But yeah, we look forward to seeing you again next time. Have a great day and take care. Bye.